Hi, and congratulations on completing week seven, interpreting wisdom texts in the Old Testament, where we explore Job and Proverbs primarily, uh, while looking at some ancient Near Eastern documents as well. Uh, the goals this week were identify the elements that characterize the genre of wisdom, to describe the correspondence between Egyptian wisdom literature and biblical wisdom literature, and explain the relationship between wisdom and other Old Testament motifs. Um, to look at our first assignment, we had two assignments and a discussion post, and folks did really well this, this week. Um, we were comparing wisdom literature by looking at the teaching of Am Amenope and um, Solomon's Proverbs. So what I was looking for were really five things. I wanted you to understand the history of the two documents and their date, recognizing that Amenope came first and then uh, working through the ramifications of that. Uh, secondly, to look at the role of wisdom contextually in the ancient Near East. Third, I, as you wrote the paper, I wanted to see solid examples uh, of both continuity and discontinuity between the two texts. Uh, and then, and I think one, one student wrote, which I thought was great, uh, recognizing that God said that Solomon had wisdom that surpassed everyone, but God didn't say that, in fact, uh, Solomon was the only person with wisdom in the ancient Near East, and that was very true. Uh, fourth, I wanted to show, I wanted you to show evidence of some outside research and reading on the topic. And then finally, I wanted some personal reflection, either about you personally or how to apply this in a ministry setting. Then on, a, on obtaining wisdom, again, everyone did a great job. Um, I wanted you to really, again, use solid biblical research uh, to talk about what is wisdom uh, and how to obtain and maintain and apply wisdom. Uh, and then I wanted to see personal re reflection, and on whole, everyone did that. Uh, our final was a, a discussion post looking at the book of Job uh, and to write a one-page post exploring how the book is designed to appeal to a skeptical audience. Uh, and there were several uh, comments made that I thought were really insightful. The first thing I was looking for uh, is to review that the speeches of the friends give conventional understandings of what wisdom should be, uh, and then we contrast that with what God actually does. So the friends' speeches were critical to your, your discussion. And then I wanted to see uh, chapter 38 on references to God's response to Job about true wisdom and Job's experience. Uh, one of the quotes from um, a student post was, uh, Job came to the realization of his own limitations before the omniscient Lord. Because humans are limited in their knowledge and understanding, they, like Job, must learn to trust the Lord for what they do not and cannot comprehend. Uh, and I think that that's you know, spot on. Um, next, Job understands in the end that God is sovereign, saying, I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours uh, can be thwarted. And that's Job 42. Uh, and then finally, using some outside biblical uh, support, God can and will do whatever he sees fit. It is not about our, it's not our job to question him. It is our job to trust him. But who are you, a human being, to talk back to God? Shall what is being formed say to the one who formed it, why did you make me like this? Does not the potter have the right to make out of the same lump of clay some pottery for special purposes and some for common purposes? essentially saying that God as creator and sovereign has the right uh, to do what God sees fit, not what we see fit. And in, in our culture where we are a bit egocentric, uh, it is easy to make the Bible and God about us, uh, but we have to remember that God is God and we are not. Um, so with that, um, thanks for a great week. We're moving into week eight. Uh, make sure to complete your course evaluations. Um, and I will be posting a, a video here in a couple of days 
that will give you more information on the process as we finish up the course. So have, have a wonderful time working through the last couple assignments, and I'll talk to you soon.